the State of the Union is a little bit of a distraction and it's a little bit of fun. Like I said, a cheap version of the Super Bowl for political tragics. And I really like to focus on trying to get things done at the local and state level because the State of the Union, unfortunately, in some ways embodies a bit of the dysfunctionality and the kind of mindless partisanship in Washington, D.C. Reaction continues tonight after President Joe Biden's second State of the Union address. Sac State political science professor Harry Blaine explains its purpose is to recommend measures the president thinks might be likely for Congress to pass. But he says based on the U.S. Constitution, there's no real way the president can legally or constitutionally enforce or implement anything said in the State of the Union. In fact, our third president, Thomas Jefferson, so much despised giving a State of the Union address, he simply wrote his down and gave a copy to Congress instead. But for others, more than two centuries after Jefferson, the State of the Union still represents a powerful platform for change. Sacramento County was represented at President Biden's State of the Union address tonight. Mervyn Brookins has a story of redemption he took to Washington, D.C. today as a guest of a local congressman. We talked with both men about their message focused on keeping teens on a path to success. You never know what a people can do until you give them the resources and let them do it on their own. A story of perseverance, redemption, and hope. Sacramento native Mervyn Brookins, the founder of Brother to Brother, went to our nation's capital for the president's annual State of the Union address as a guest of Congressman Ami Barra. U.S. Representative Barra represents California's 6th District in Sacramento, which includes Rio Linda, Citrus Heights, and Rancho Cordova. I think by having him out here in Washington, D.C., by introducing him to Speaker Emeritus Nancy Pelosi, uh, leader Hakeem Jeffries and others. I think his story can help us inform, you know, the legislation that we do and how we give people a second chance. And you know, I think that's bringing Del Paso to Washington, D.C. Brother to Brother, based in Del Paso Heights, is all about mentoring our local youth. Well, firstly, we're about accountability, transformation and redemption. We hold ourselves accountable for our actions. We don't make excuses. Mervyn works to bring together communities to stop violence and build stronger relationships with police and neighbors. Mervyn is now committing his life to being a positive influence after a difficult road that included more than two decades in prison. You know, if you're fortunate enough to uh, grow and develop as, as an individual, you take those lessons home with you. And that's exactly what I did while I was there. Making the most of second chances, Mervyn hopes his message to Congress can inspire change. Listen to the people and believe in the people. Help them help themselves. For more information on Brother to Brother mentoring and programs, we have that information on our website, abc10.com.